It's Davison here. How are you guys today? Well, apparently if you're PewDiePie, things are going a little rough because PewDiePie put out a video, I guess it's about five or six days ago now, where he says that he's quitting daily vlogging. So he, I think he may have done this before, Casey Neistat. Yeah, it looks like it maybe. But um, PewDiePie basically, from what I can tell, burnt out while filming his YouTube Red show, um, PewDiePie Gets Scared, and trying to do vlogs simultaneously. And like I had said with the Casey Neistat video, I don't blame him. It's too much to try to work four jobs at once. You know what I'm saying? Try to live your life, work on a on a show that's probably shooting at least 12 hours in a row. That That's what happens on, on big TV and film sets. And then, you know, to have to make your vlog interesting and then edit it, it's just too much. Plus the social media duties that we all have, right? Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, uh, everything else. I, there's, there's probably more, but I'm forgetting them right now. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I feel really bad for PewDiePie in his video because he looks really distraught and sad that he can't keep up the superhero energy that's required to produce videos documenting your life every day. And that's, that's sad because he should know that what he's feeling is completely normal and that one has to prioritize in life and one can't do it all without trading off somewhere else, you know? Um, life is to be lived, life is to be enjoyed. I'm sure PewDiePie has, you know, a great deal of material comfort in his life and he, he's experienced a great deal of online success so he should just allow himself to to, to, to lean back a little bit and enjoy it just because he's gone for you know two weeks doesn't mean he's all of a sudden going to become irrelevant and he's already been so, so successful that even if he was to spontaneously become irrelevant at 50 million subscribers would it really matter like at the end of the day, what matters the most is your relationships with your friends and family, doing what you enjoy to do to bring in money to keep, you know, your physical needs met and, you know, doing something that, that also is healthy for you psychologically that, that pays you and not setting standards in your life so high that you just cannot be happy because they're just too impossibly high and at the end of the day like i said unimportant as long as you have four walls you have friends you have um uh food you have here i gotta turn this back on sorry you've you have a partner that loves you your sexual needs are being met like all of this like pleasing other people, maintaining, you know, your numbers, your numbers, your numbers. It just it just doesn't matter. And it's always gonna be in flux. So just live a life of balance and don't feel bad about it. And don't don't make your life imbalanced by trying to do too much, you know? The only way PewDiePie would have been able to document his experience doing you, the YouTube Red Show is to pay a camera crew to follow him and not edit it himself and upload it for him. But he, but I know YouTube creators, and we never, we, we seldom let go enough when we should be forming, you know, bigger teams. He said he brought two people along with him, but I mean, I think that, you, you know, he should have maybe delegated more to him. But that said, like I said, I'm not blaming him at all. And I think he just, people following him probably was even too much too. So just let it go. Dude, you're like a multimillionaire. You're, you're popular. You're the number one channel on YouTube. You know, you, you've done excellent work. You will continue to do excellent work, you know, but your work would suffer if you push yourself beyond the point where you can't handle it, which is why I think you, you quit. But just don't be sad about it. It's normal. You're human. And I like you and you're cute. You got nice eyes, PewDiePie. So let me know what you guys think about PewDiePie quitting his daily vlog, his Bertabo stuff for now. And uh, I'm gonna keep making my videos. I started a video today and I had some jerks tell me, oh, LOL Purs isn't successful because you're not making quality work. Well, fuck you, buddy. I get press all the fucking time. And Steve Buscemi's wife bought my painting. You know, and I try new things all the time. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident that I'm just gonna keep growing and that negative people always wanna run off at the mouth because they themselves are, are insecure. And it's far easier to be critical from the outside 
than it is to to actually make stuff happen. Um, and I have realistic expectations of how long that's going to take. So that's that. Life ain't easy, kids. Eat your Wheaties. Lala Davison video.